and a very warm welcome to Wonderful Women with Susan Stewart podcast. This is season one, episode one, and I am here today to tell you what it's all about. So if I cast my mind back to around 15 years ago, I was attending a training in the Salisbury Centre in Edinburgh, a beautiful historic building um, that had been used for meditation for decades and, and the atmosphere in there was just phenomenal. I was training to be a mind detox therapist, which I still do, and I was surrounded by amazing people. And we were a group of us, the women, we were still, I think at that time, the women made the tea, even although we were feminists, we thought. However, I can remember standing in the kitchen and just feeling absolutely full of love, connection and in awe of these women that were training with me. They were from all over the world. We'd only been together for about four hours at that point, but we were all connected. And I just blurted out, I just want to start a wonderful woman uh, movement. And they turned to me and said, Susan, yes, you should. You definitely should. So we talked a little bit about what that would look like, how we would launch it, how wonderful it would be. And of course, we all went away in our merry way. And I didn't do it. We didn't do it. And life took over as it very, very often does. I did go on being a mind detox therapist. It's part of what I still do today. Um, however, I didn't start the Wonderful Women movement. And back then, there wasn't any social media to speak of that was very effective. There wasn't podcasts. So it would have been a very manual labour, probably live event um, sort of proposition. So it was it always seemed too big. So fast forward to December 2021, and I was listening to a lecture by Jean Houston at the Altered States Conference in America on my TV through YouTube. However, it touched my soul. She is an amazing woman. She's a spiritual leader, spiritual teacher. She works with on peace missions around the world. She was mentored by some of the most incredible people of you know her lifetime. She actually met Einstein when she was seven years old. Can you imagine that? And at, at that point, she had a discussion with him about it's not academia that um, brings you on and, and takes you to the place that you need to be. It's your imagination. Mm, more of that later. So Jean was saying in this lecture, the main gist of it was that we've had the hero's time. We've had the, the time of men leading us for hundreds of years. Now is the time of the heroine. Now is the time for women to take the lead. And, I, and that just touched me. It touched my heart. It touched my soul. And I really thought, you are right, Jean. You are right. So what can we do? What can I do to be one of these heroines of our time? Or how can I find the heroines of our time? How can I open a conversation on this subject? And then it popped into my mind, wonderful women. This is the time for the wonderful women movement. So it all came from there. Uh, the first season, I have got the most incredible, wonderful women that I know from all over the world um, are going to join me. Each season, we will have a bit of a theme. Season one, we're going to be talking about an event or a challenge that you've gone through that's changed the trajectory of your life. And we all have. 
There's not one single one of these women that I have spoken to, that I have asked to be my guest that has said, oh, that's never happened to me. In fact, it's been more, oh my goodness, I've had so many of these um, life events and challenges. I'm going to have to really think about which one will be the one for me to talk about. So that is what we've got to look forward to in our first three months. I hope to, to publish um, the podcast every Tuesday at 8 a.m. It will go out on YouTube and it will go out on all the uh, usual audio channels as well. Um, I am learning, so please stay and learn with me. And of course, it's not only for women, it's for people, men as well. We like men. You don't, you're not, uh, just because you've been heroes for so long, you're still our heroes. So how about listening to some heroines for a while? So a little about me. I live in the Highlands of Scotland, beside the sea. I love nature. I walk every morning, which I love walking. It's amazing to the extent that I'm going to be walking the Camino this October, um, which is a about 500 mile walk from the north of France to the Camino de Santiago in the south of Spain. So it is a pilgrimage. I'm not doing it for charity or anything. I'm doing it for me. Uh, so I'm training just by walking along the shore every morning, nothing drastic. I worked in the corporate world for um, most of my working life. Um, I was involved in every digital um, revolution, I suppose, that there was. I could work for, for the BBC. I can remember when we went from recording on tape, you know, the reel-to-reel -reel tape, to digital recording which was supposed to be a lot easier but let me tell you I could take a breath out cutting and splicing a tape it took me ages to work out the digital technology and um, I then worked in telecoms uh, and at the end of my corporate career I worked for Sky TV most of the time I was sales focused but I was a different kind of sales trainer I always trained people on expanding their heart, on realising that the magnetic field of their heart um, propelled round their bodies by eight metres and all they had to do is think love um, as they were walking into a room to close or sell their most amazing deals. So that was a bit of it, but has that piqued your interest? It certainly did with the people that I worked with, but I loved it. So when I was 53, I took early retirement. I then opened a boutique in Inverness, the capital of the Highlands, totally by accident. But it was great fun. We sold um, beautiful Scottish designers, niche Scottish designers, who if we didn't give them a platform, would have only been selling through their websites. Um, so they loved us. We loved them. And we also, in our basement, sold designer pre-loved clothes. And we changed the mind of many women up in this Highlands about wearing second-hand clothes. I can remember them at the start. They wouldn't admit that they bought um, their clothes in our store. But then we became so on trend that you would see in our newspapers or social media, I bought this in Maggie and Susie's. And uh, they were very proud of it. I would also go around uh, schools or secondary schools and talk to the teenagers about disposable fashion and how fashion was is the second biggest polluter in the world. I did that long before Stacey Do Dooley did, by the way. Um, and we would run upcycling competitions for them to upcycle clothes and they would win a prize and Sometimes they'd come in and work with us for a day because they really loved the store. So that was my by accident boutique. When lockdown happened, we didn't reopen because it was going to be too difficult. It would have been too difficult um, to be in retail in the centre of town in a small boutique. We, wouldn't, we relied on having you know, a shop full of women drinking Prosecco and having a party on every Saturday. We couldn't have done that. So sadly, we closed. 
But just before lockdown started, I had launched a health program. I had gone through an incredible transformation myself a couple of years prior to that. Um, I had cured myself of arthritis, brain fog, energized myself and also lost 55 pounds, practically writing my own um, health program. I had done with diets. I'd been a yo-yo dieter for 20 years, and that's what brought me from size 12 to size 22. I was done with diets. So I now help people doing exactly what I had done. And I have st I am so healthy now. I'm in my 60s. I am healthier than I've been since I was 20 something. And I also mentor um small businesses on taking themselves online, how to also how to promote themselves and um launch themselves on social media. So that is me and that is what I do but I also now am the presenter of Wonderful Women podcast and I hope this is going to go on and build and grow around the world. I hope everybody's watching and I hope if you are watching you will share and also I would love you to hit subscribe. Another thing I'm doing this year is writing my book intermittent fasting the natural way so that is coming out in august so i that is something that i really <laughs> have to get on with doing and stop procrastinating but it's another beautiful project so i hope you're going to tune in every week is tune in the right word i don't know but it sounds okay doesn't it and i really really look forward to getting to know you all